Hello everyone, let's start our workshop with plus into the comment uh, if you can hear me well, see my screen and we'll do the second day, second journey and today we're going to create this coffee shop um, so this scene is quite interesting because uh, the lighting is like combining the daylight and also the a non -den light because artificial light so we will combine everything customize the lighting and also there are a bunch of interesting and cool materials which you can mix it by mask by a different kind of uh, displacement and different kind of diffuse map so I'm sure this one will be like super exciting so prepare it probably won't be like super short so it will take time to customize everything but I'm sure you will uh, like the results so I'm waiting for your pluses um, before that I won't start um, because I want sure that you will see me well and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet you can do it now because we have a lot of interesting information and also it's a good for us to uh, provide uh, for you a cool information and also um, you will get it from us so still don't see anything so i'm not sure okay one plus like quite strong uh, quite strong delay I'm not so sure I can see that the stream is coming but I don't see much pluses yet so guys put pluses otherwise I won't be sure that everything is correct and you can see me please okay Muhammad is did it so I believe everything is working finally uh, we can go to our scene if so you can always write to the comments I won't reply to your questions uh, during the webinar so please keep all the questions till the end and I'll answer all your questions uh, if you have like supporting question like if you need something like straight away like ask better to keep it in the end and I'll um, answer it also you will find all the materials that I'm going to use to this um, master workshop uh, in the description so you can use it and uh, customize the uh, similar scene so let's get started and by the way my name is Irena Baliko if you don't know me yet okay let's start it so I'll put picture to the right screen to have a look on it and let's start uh, so basically for this specific interior we don't need much of interior lighting so I'm going to use instead of RGR map just for instance um, Corona sky because I believe we haven't used it at all yet so why not we can do it in this workshop so what I need I need to find this map it will be in the corona and you can find this map corona sky uh, to make it work to your scene you need to place it to environment and environment you can find in the uh, rendering environment or just press 8 so found it and drag this map mm, drag this map into the non slot as instant as usual and now we can start our interactor because we already have some lighting we don't have sun or anything well we don't have like much of sunlight in general for the scene so we basically don't need it so i believe the map will be enough but as you can see like extremely blue um usually with the corona sky you need to set up um, i wouldn't say like a lot of parameters but you need to set up a lot of color for this map so basically you can use uh, turbidity you can use in the tone mapping um, white balance and you can uh, vary it between them so for example I can increase turbidity to make it less blue oh, also you can uh, try different modes here maybe you will find the better way and better colors that you like well this one is quite good but uh for now it's like like super super white well it can be something like that but we can stay with a clear sky i think should be good a little violet maybe i will decrease and make it slightly bluish something like that and what else we can do well we can increase exposure 
And we need to customize base material because I have a gray material for all of it, I believe. So I can one more time like select all, assign this gray material, or you can create a new one if you don't have it in your scene, but I believe it should be there. So Corona Legacy MTL, you can create it. This one I will delete, um, assign it, and as usual, I'll do like basic, very basic gray material. So diffuse. 90 will start with but i believe that it should be darker um because this color is like quite dark so it's more like the middle gray it's way more dark well not way more but a little bit darker than middle gray that we just customized now uh and we need reflection and glossiness as usual 0 0.6 and middle reflection color okay nice um so yeah i need for sure higher exposure but i believe we have a lot of intensity of the map so we can lower it um here oh probably it's well actually not too bad so maybe something like that and uh, yeah ace it ace make the picture is extremely contrast extremely dark and compressed a lot of the light well in some cases very good well we a little Mm, um, use it in the previous workshop but uh, in the middle i turn it off but you can see the difference you can also like make it lower so there will be like uh half of a set off if you like the result if not you can just turn it off and you can see the picture become way more lighter well we definitely need some so maybe we can use it or we can use in the old way so we can add a little contrast, we can add some uh, filmic mapping. So it's all the same parameters, just in one asset or that they combine all together. But if you don't feel like, you always can customize it manually and get exactly the result that you like. So a little compress of the highlight, more contrast in rich shadows. I love this parameter. Um, and also what else? Advanced filmic, yeah, for more compressing in shoulder strength so it like compressing even more highlights but in, in another algorithm i like how it works and well actually not too bad do i want to make it lighter i want to make the material darker as i said before so 60 probably too much 70 can be let me increase even more exposure and let me lower Corona Sky. So maybe something like that. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, do I want more contrasted shadows? Uh, you can increase contrast here. Or you can try with toy strength. It also works good with another algorithm so it like add a uh, darkness part where it's thing that it should be added so i like how it works and basically it's good um well the floor will be darker so there won't be like such a high compress uh such a expo like overexposure so i think it's good this one there won't be that much of a reflection, also good. So I believe we can start with that one. Maybe I'll make it even lighter. And also I really want to make this area a little um, like um, lighter because like we have a lot of light in this area, but this wall is like quite dark and also the uh, area with the sofa and tables i want to like make a little accent on it also so we can add like super not intensive uh, light there we can use um sun uh, but sun will give light in like all the room and i want like super direct like just in this area so i'm going to use um Corona just light so it's more directional it's not applying like the whole entire the whole scene it's very very direct okay and I will select the rectangle shape oh and I need to fix this view part for the render 
in the render setup. Just click here, but make sure that your camera is active. So viewport have to be active this one. Otherwise, you will render something else. And let's create some rectangular light. Maybe a little bigger. Okay. I'll move it outside the walls. I don't need that strong intensity, so 10, maybe even less, 5. Okay, let's try. I'll make it targeted. So now I can select just a target and navigate where I want to move this light. And now this area is way more lighter. Let me check. So on. Turn off, but it's too strong still. Uh, first, I want to make it like sun-like, so I'm going to select target one more time, and I'll put it down. So it's the light is just coming from the top. Select the main light, maybe even higher. Maybe not. Actually, it's good because we got more shadow here, but this area is in the light, which is good. And I can move it even more to the wall. Okay, so let's decrease even less intensity. As I said, it should be like super, super... Almost not visible. So just slight of it would be enough. Maybe something like that. Quite good, actually. Um, all right, so for now I'm going to do next step and I will add the color to all our scenes. So for now it's like gray, but as you can see, all our interior is like in the kind of same color. So I'm going to apply similar, same color, so it will be more understandable what we need to customize, what kind of um, color of the light we need to add to the lamps and so and so and so. Okay. So, I'll open Material Editor, I need my base material, and I'll just add some color. So, Diffuse, Increase Saturation, uh, move it to Yellow, I believe there are supposed to be even more. Oh, probably not that much. Ah, it's too green. Well, this one is quite similar. This one is too yellowish, so probably I will stay 25, I believe. Maybe slightly less saturation. Yeah, and it's good. I'm not touching value because value is quite nice. And I don't want to change it. Um, so yeah, we can continue working with our lighting. Uh, so the main line is coming from this uh, big lamp. So we need to put, uh, well, the basic how you should customize your artificial light with the, all the lamps. So uh, it doesn't matter. It's a spot. It's a uh, like wall lamp, it's a floor lamp or table lamp, doesn't really matter. The, uh, it's very similar uh, how you should do that. So first you set the light inside of the lamp to make like some light inside of the lamp uh, so you will see that there is some light existing. And the second you um, add some light outside which will give you uh, the light that you need in your room. So inside uh, light not giving you the light in the room. It's giving the light only in the lamp uh, and the outside is giving you main light. So that's the principle how you should set up your artificial lights in the scene. Um, okay, so here is our lamp and what shape we will select for it. So I'm going to curl a light um, shape. Cylinder, well, probably cylinder because we need something like long <laughs> so I believe it should be fine. Well, we can do it with the sphere, I think, so we can smash it with the scale. Uh, well, basically, we probably will do the same with the cylinder, but uh, cylinder is more like fill it our shape more than uh, spheres. So I believe it works better in our case. 
Okay, so I'll make it longer. It's not supposed to be like from uh, one side to another side. It can be like smaller. It's not necessarily like be exactly the same shape. Usually it should be like a little smaller or way more smaller. <clears throat> okay, so oh, and we got some light. We can create some region here. And 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 then I'll probably add a little more intensive so we can see it only inside and also I will add some color there so because it should be more colored more warm so I'll add more intensity and it becomes slightly more yellow which is good maybe I'll make intensity even bigger it's not really necessary but we got a little light in the wall which is also good just a little bit would be fine but as i say it's not supposed to be strong and now let's uh reshape it in the left view i'll use the scale tool this one and i'll use by one coordinate make it a little smaller and also make it longer it's maybe uh, oh yeah actually it's good a little more light on the walls so probably I should make it less intensive. As I said, it's not supposed to give me much of the light. Okay. Uh, color. Well, color is fine. Let's do the main light outside of the lamp. So corona light, I will need rectangle. Um, if you have a look at this lamp, handmade lamp, <laughs> you can find it in your scene. Uh, so we should place the light with the similar size on the bottom. Like um, all the light that you create, uh, try to make outside like more or less the same size that you have your lamp. But of course, you can recustomize it later if you see that it's not fit to your current scene and you can make it smaller, bigger or whatever. But I'm going to create similar size on the bottom and in the same uh, like place okay corona light rectangle it should be somewhere there let me lift it up I said lift it up and I will need to make it a little smaller um, yeah I believe should work but I don't see any light of it because intensity is like super extremely small. So I'll lift it the amount. It. Amount make bigger. I'm not so sure that it should be like that strong. And also I probably want to make the color. Um, should I? Like more color it? Maybe not. I'm not so sure if I want to like move the color more to pink or well yeah actually with more red I moved the color slightly to the left it become more um, like soft and warm I think this one work way more nicer and also I really want to turn off the um, uh, interactive denoiser because of those ones I don't like how it calculated so better I'll be with the noise but not in uh, this denoising so Render stop performance and turn it off. At the beginning was fine, but for now, when we started to add lighting, is not so. Um, also, the one thing, well, two things that I have to do, because if I'll come closer, you will see uh, the line of this rectangle. If I'll uh, put it down, you can straight away see the shape of this rectangle lighting, which is not good and we don't need it. So you can uh, click visible direct uh, direct also I'll turn off this one so every other light will come through uh, this all light also and the same I will do for the cylinder inside so visibility and other lights now I can return my light my light to the place where it was and we'll have a look uh, you can place like straight away inside Sometimes it gives a uh, more softer shadow, sometimes more contrasted. In our case, it gave, gives a bit more contrasted shapes. Maybe I'll place somewhere in this area and should be good. Denise here. Cool. 
a lot of Italian guys is here. Very cool, like Serbia, Romania, Brazil. Hi guys, I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope I will see you work in Instagram so you can mention that and we will mention you. So we will see your result if you will repeat this workshop or any other. Also, you can mention us and it would be like honor to see your works. Really, really cool. Um, okay, so what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Um, I think we can add a uh, light on the back room to get more shadows there. So maybe I have no clue how this uh, room is created. Maybe there is some window. Maybe there is no window and there is a spot. Well, I made the way since we have a lot of um, artificial light. I made with a spot. So let's create some spots uh, on the back room and get some nice shadows from the shelves. Um, so another corner light and I will do just rectangle shape. We don't need to do inside light because we don't see any lamps in this area and I'm going to place a spot somewhere here. So only like outside light, which give us the light that we need. Okay. Um, rectangle, lift it up. Oh, it's like extremely colored. I definitely don't want to make the warm light there. So I will straight away uh, lower the saturation. Okay, that's better. Maybe even less, like more or less, almost without color. Um, intensity definitely less. And now we can see some shadows here. And um, the size, well, we can stay with this kind of size we can make it like more like spots for example like 100 200 well the light is not that strong anymore well maybe i'll make it a little bigger okay let me see let me move it more to the wall maybe i'll make it more intensive Well, I don't want it to make it like super intensive, but around 30. No, I'll back to 20. I think it was kind of good. We can turn off and see how it was before and after. Should I back the denoiser so it will render way more faster or not? Now, okay, on shadow here. Okay, actually not bad. Um, and let me add one more spot so we will get the double shadow there. I'll make it instance. Just in case if I want to uh, change the intensity, it will straight away change it. And now we got way more interesting shadows in this area. And I believe it's work really good. Um, still, I think it's a little too strong. I don't want like um, that that area will take more intention than the uh, front line. So maybe I'll make it a little less. So around 10, maybe 15. Okay. Mm hmm okay let's move on and i will well actually only two lights left so let's start with the nearest one i'll create as i said inside uh light first so i'm going to use sphere inside of this lamp not too big just a little bit so it will give some light for us inside of the lamp i'll place it inside as you can see on the top view um well, we should have taken the color like from this lamp, I think, because now it's taking the uh, color from the spots that we just placed on the room. So I will just copy the same color so we won't need to re-customize it. I will take the rectangular one, copy the color and go back to our lamp. Um, paste in direct input and yeah it gives us extremely a lot of light so nope no needed well we need something um, just not that strong and I'll probably move it lower so we'll see more light there yeah 
nice soft if you want you can increase it a little more if you want to make it stronger but i think like three well five or six five i think was fine also yeah let's create the light outside so uh, mm, under the lamp i'll change shape to rectangle well actually no i'll change to disk since it's rounded why would i use rectangle if i can create disk right so disk uh more or less the same size lower it you can lower like like straight away but if you like lower like too too low you can see that the light on the wall will be like, extremely too low so definitely for sure we should place it like around our lamp and yeah maybe i'll make the radius a little lower uh intensity maybe i'll increase it actually i want to uh, get the light in this area for the sofa and table so let me see maybe even stronger and i think think i'm going to use directionality because um it gives me a lot of light in here but i want more light in this area so we will get more uh, deeper shadow in our sofa because of this light and so on and so on. so um if you're not sure sure how the directionality works so first you can increase the size of the gizmo so um when you just create the light it spread the light like for 90 degrees when you start to use directionality uh the light is coming more directional so uh, the more you will increase this amount the more directional it will be it's like a um, light in in the street outside like super super directional to the ground uh for example but we don't need that directional but more focus it in this area so i'm going to increase it oh and now it's like super strong so no need oh there was a nice there was a nice more light in our sofa where it was well something around 0 0.40 something well probably my favorite like amount for directionals like 45 or 0 0.4 usually it's the most uh, useful the amount for the direction not always but sometimes um okay now we see is it too strong or not too strong maybe i'll make it slightly less Oh, nope. I want a 10. Also, I don't want a reflection on the sofa. So I'll straight away create a new material here. Uh, I'll select all the fabric parts of the sofa. Not the cup apply new material and turn off reflection i don't want to be so reflective way more better now okay so let's come back to our disc mm, i'll make it even less intensive because like to over exposure there which I don't really like. Also, I think the light from outside gives too much light um, to the pillow. Well, we'll do the light mix when we'll customize all the lights and we'll see which um, we need to recheck, redo, uh, improve, make less intense or more intense. We will see. Uh, but for now, it's good. Maybe I'll make the radius smaller so it won't be like super strong on the wall. And now I can increase intensity just a bit. Maybe it's better. Okay. Um, so the last one, I can do it from existing lightings because we're going to 
use similar shape so I'll select the sphere uh, make a copy but copy not instance otherwise you will change the intensity for both of them um, but in case if you need to different intensity or some other parameters better to do copy not instance if you would have like similar light like all the same probably they will be like instance lights but uh, the lamps are different so the light probably will be uh, different as well well, yeah, probably I want to make it more intensive inside. Maybe 10, 12, 20. Is it too much? I think we have a, like still a lot of outside lighting from um, Corona Sky. So for now, I will keep it like that. And when we'll customize the light mix, then we'll see and maybe we'll change some intensity. And I'll make a copy of the disk. Oh, actually, we don't need disk. We need rectangle. So anyway, I'll make a copy of it, but just change the shape to rectangle. And place it under the lamp. But it should be smaller because the holes is like in this area just. So I'll place the same size, so I'll make it not that big, but longer probably. I want to increase shoulder uh, length uh, to get rid of overexposure even more. And maybe I will increase in advanced filmic also. Okay think it looks better now okay um what else do we need i want more intensive light in this area and also i want to make and go like straight away to the wall well that was on the reference so i'm trying just to rep replicate the real light it's not from my head if you think so uh, i'll make another copy not instance and I need to mirror it, so uh, this um, mm, uh, gizmos will go on the top, otherwise you will get light on your lamp, not outside from your lamp. So by Y coordinate, I mirror it with this tool, with no clone. And now it's going, oh, it's like huge. We definitely need to make the light way more smaller. Uh, maybe something like this and I'll probably change the directionality because I want to be it more focused on the ceiling oh okay here we go but not that intensive maybe the light even smaller and probably I'll increase saturation more i want to make it more colored somehow um should i add more red color actually it's not bad but maybe i should um add the same color on the bottom part as well so let me select the bottom part and it was 18 just move it to the 18. okay so we set all the lights now we need to like order it all together because um i think that our picture looks a little too light and um, too much light from outside so i think we need to um work more with this um i'll stop render and now i will um make a mix light so i will got the list of my all the lights in the scene in mix uh, in light mix and now then i can turn it off customize intensity if i want to and so and so and so uh for that you will need to find this button in the um, corona toolbar so open interactive light mixer um i just use the instance of lights uh, included in the noise and generate that's all i actually need no hidden nothing and then you can uh, start one more time your interactive render just start interactive and here we go all our list is here so now you can turn off all the lights one by one and see how the 
uh, environment looks like, how the uh, light looks like. Yeah. So I believe the environment like still too strong. Uh, I would recommend um, like you can decrease probably the intensity in light mix for the environment, for the lights, uh, but better not increasing a light mix. If you want to increase intensity of the light, better do it in, in, in exactly in the light, because uh, in this case, probably it one calculate like perfectly fine and you will get some artifacts some uh, too much of the noise uh in your scene and so on so on, so, on. so the decreasing is fine increasing is not so in light mix so better not do it better do it manually since i'm decreasing so i can do it now so it will be faster not just select all the lights and decrease it well i can decrease and i can increase the exposure and now you can see that from outside not going too much but the room is a light um a bit more contrasted and i think it looks a bit better maybe even more mm. should i increase it more Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like it more. We got more uh, deep shadows here and I like this result way more like it was before. Before it was too light. Okay, let's go to the next um, light. Oh, light actually is not too bad. I'm thinking should we? Okay, I can decrease a little bit. So it won't be like super intensive. Maybe even less, so we will get less shadow here. And it will be more softer. Oh, and this shadow become more visible, which I do like. Yeah, I think something <laughs> almost similar parameters here. Okay. Uh, next uh, is the one inside. Oh, actually it's like strong, so maybe I'll lower it as well. Um, next one is outside. Well, outside I actually do like. I probably will keep the intensity like that. Maybe a little light darker. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, next one outside. Well. I'm comparing with a picture. Should we? Actually it's good. I think can be like that. If so, if when we'll apply the color to our walls and it still will be like too bright, so maybe we'll change something. Um, and let's go to the light inside, outside. Mm. Outside, probably we need to lower it just a bit because uh, I don't like the overexposure. We increase like a lot of compression there and at too much compression is not good because it compress the light of the whole picture, which we don't need. So maybe something like that. Well, for this one, let me see. I thought maybe inside we should uh, add more light. I mean, more intensity, but maybe not. Okay, let me see all those three together. Maybe we'll keep like that well the last one is definitely like too big i want to make the size like um less uh, long because it gives us too much light on the uh wall so i'm going to select inside which we placed on the top and i'll make it smaller so it will be like extremely direction to the wall maybe i'll <coughs> Move it somewhere here. Maybe even smaller. Okay. Um, I can lower directional probably. Or maybe I should increase it. So it will less focus on the left wall. Well, definitely not that strong, but, 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 yeah, 
this one is good but, but intensity I will decrease so it won't be yeah directional is needed I do like it more and as you can see we don't have the light on the wall now and guys please keep your questions till the end of the workshop and I will answer them all okay so let me see do I like it or not and also you can say me do you like this light or not um, you can also press the like button in the video if you enjoy so far and we'll continue and create some materials I believe our light it looks super perfect uh, well one thing maybe I would add since we add some uh, light on the top of this um, uh, lamp maybe we should do the same here and we'll get slightly more lighter area here and also it will go to the ceiling as well um, I'm not so sure if it's like super good idea but we can try and see what we'll have so I'll just copy this oh well actually no I'll copy the bottom light from this lamp why we need to do double job and uh, re change the size if we can do it here but as copy and also we need to mirror it so the light come up not on the bottom oh and we need to press rest because uh, we didn't calculate this one and I'm not going to recalculate it otherwise all our numbers uh, disappear which is not good and yeah we don't need that strong so like slightly almost not visible and well actually it's not bad I like the line here but maybe it's like super strong for now so I'll lower it let me create the region here And most of the models in this uh, interior is made by me, even those pillows. So yeah, only a few models you won't find in the description. So the one that I haven't made, everything else, it was made by me. Good, I think so. Maybe slightly lower and it would be perfect. Nice, okay. Uh, let's continue with the materials so as you remember we have quite interesting materials like a lot of like not super accurate maps here well basically for those one we can use just diffuse map um, some reflection map and that's all uh, for the floor it's more complicated uh, we will need to use some masks uh, to mix some color we will need the mask for reflection um, and bump so that's the plan so we can start with the floor it's quite interesting to be made so i'm going to uh, copy our base material select floor in the viewport assign new material and first we will work with the reflection because it is important one and then we'll go to the color i think it would be nice um so what i need i need more reflective floor first so i can just make glossiness higher oh and we got some light in this area which is actually the one that i wanted um and next it shouldn't be like very accurate and smooth so we can add a uh, map for reflection which help us to make uh, in some areas more reflective floor in some areas less reflective and for that I'm going to use the mask no not this one um, this one yeah uh, it like contrasted mask with like dirty like as you can see like dusty concrete floor like perfect for our case I believe um, and we got such maps there like those ones so you can find the one that you like I'm going to use the map from for roughness exactly for the uh, reflection from this uh, shader so let me find it oh uh, yeah this one it's like just black gray uh, map contrasted some parts um, the one the more lighter will give us more reflective um, floor 
the one that darker there will be less of reflection so let's do that hi hi who just joined so um i'm going to connect to reflect color and here we go we got something and you already can see how it works so uh, the one that darker we don't see uh well actually almost not uh, none of reflection but also i want to see this map in our floor <laughs> and the size is definitely not super good so i'm going to add some uh, uv map there uh box and let's change the size so maybe around five thousand should be fine uh, we don't need any high because we can see only two coordinates and no my dark parts disappear so i definitely want to move this map because i want less some uh, in some areas less of the reflection and you can open uv map go to the gizmo because otherwise if you want to go to the gizmo you will move just the whole floor and something like that will happen so do not make it happen. Open UV map, go to the gizmo, and now you can move your map. So I want this dark area somewhere. Oh, this one might be good. Maybe I'll move it closer. Maybe not so. Maybe I should change the size. Um, and maybe I want to make it even more contrasted. Mm, yeah so let me open it again uh i'll select just map i don't need to add any output map because uh bitmap uh by itself has a curve so all i need is go to output tab uh, enable um add point uh, make it busier smooth and make it more contrasted i don't believe that i uh, i don't think that i need to make it like extremely contrasted because um because Uh, if I'll make it too strong, um, in this case, uh, I will get like too a uh, white color and there will be like extremely a lot of reflection and I want some softer. That's why I said we don't need like super contrast map. So maybe something like that should be good. And maybe I'll move it more. Eh, no, it's too strong. I want to find the perfect place. Oh, slightly around. I thought this one would be good for this uh, bright part, but mm, when I move it outside, it looks quite good. I do like it. Okay. Um, so let me connect to reflection glossiness as well. And the uh, reflection is disappear fully. Um, so I need to mix it with the parameter of glossiness and the map because it not work. Maybe I, I shouldn't use it like at all, but I wanted to make it even more softer. That's why I connect it. Oh, this one is better for now. Let me make the render even bigger. Mm, and probably I'll lower it even more. Less. Like almost not visible map, but maybe it work. Yeah, just a little made more um, made slightly, and I think it's good. Uh, maybe I should lower the intensity of the map for reflection as well, and mix it just with the color that we have here. Let's try. So it will be even more softer. We don't use RDR map in this scene, uh, so when you will uh, have a look this webinar again, you will see how we customize light here. 50. Let me too deep on zoom, so I will see this area closer, because that's the one area that I can uh, able to see the reflection of those maps. I think it's good. Also, I need the, yeah, I have some glossiness parameter here or reflection. Um, should I make it slightly more contrasted? 
I'll just put it slightly down. Yeah, I think it's better. Great. So, let's go to the color. So, the floor should be like definitely darker than this color. And for the color, uh, for the map, I'm going to use next our shader from the Quixel. This one. Uh, it's like perfectly good for the floor and I believe for the walls as well. So we can double uh, mix it. Um, so sometimes you can use one map for a lot of object and create totally different material with one the same map, which is really cool. Um, and just keep it in mind that not necessarily to find for thousands of maps uh, to create a different materials if they're quite similar but different. So, uh, this is a map I'll connect to uh, diffusing. Yeah, it's extremely bright. Let me make it darker with help of um, color correction. So advanced um, six, six, maybe seven. No, six was good. Five. No, six was good size i believe the size should be smaller okay since we have already a uv map and you want to change the size of a map well one way is change the map channel add another uv map but i think it would be like uh complicated even if you're going to add like way more maps and if you want to like just make it a little smaller or a little bigger you can make it in the map so tiling for example two Oh, two is good. Two is uh, good. Oh, and now we need to add some more interesting parts here. So we need to mix with some dirty maps there uh, to get different parts in the floor. Um, so for that, I found a cool map, uh, like just a regular texture. It's not the shader. You can download it for free if you sign up on the site. Um, and I was used this one. Well, you can try any other, but but this one is quite cool. I think it will work also. This one also uh, really cool because it's like contrasted. Those one won't be like that contrast. Maybe this one also will give you an interesting result. But I think the best will give uh, those two. But I'm going to use this one and I need to add it. It's just a texture, like regular one. Some scratches, um, which is quite nice. So let me drag it to material editor. Um, so we will need to compose it to mix our maps there. I will add a new layer. Um, I can connect to layer 2 to see how this map look on our floor. It's huge, I'll make it smaller, so telling to 2. Ooh. Um, and we need to cut it, uh, because you can see those not nice tiling there. Um, so for that you can do it straight away in the map also. You can click on the view image, you can make smaller those uh, red frames. Uh, but you will need to apply. Otherwise, you won't see the result. And we have still some, so we can make it even smaller. Maybe we should move those ones. Oh, no. This one not give us anything. Uh, can we make it even less visible? Hey, I don't want to save my work. If I'll... If my max will crash, then you will cry <laughs> because I don't have any aftersaves. Um, maybe I should rotate it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I actually wanted. So, for now, I want this tile so it won't be like super visible. I'll move it somewhere with help of offset. Oh, yeah. Something like that should be good. Yeah, let's try. Okay, I believe the size is quite nice, so maybe we can work with that. If so, we always can change it. And we need another color, so I want to make those parts like lighter. So I can uh, make a copy of this color correction, I can connect it to a layer 2, and I will make it lighter. Well, I can set one, so you will see how it works. 
and it's almost not visible. I can see some dark ones. So yeah, um, the white one applied for the layer two. Everything else is layer one. And I need actually opposite, but well, first I will make it more contrasted. So we will see how it works better because we need it more um, intensive. So first curves enable same way like we did just before with the previous uh, map for reflection and this one will make more contrasted for sure yeah now we can see and well there's two way you can switch uh, the maps for example so this one will be on layer two or you can try and make it invert just in the map maybe it will work also well which it is work but uh, the second layer is too bright we need to lower it Ah, yeah, one. So, in the first one we had uh, 0 0.6, so maybe 0 0.8. Maybe I should make this map even more contrasted. Let me see, because like too much of the second layer for now. Um, so, what I can do... We got more of the dark. Mm, actually, good. I like those old lines, like here. Like, looks very nice. Um, also, one thing that also we can do, uh, since we have the same tiling, so it's like absolutely repeating the size of the all these um, parts of the diffuse map, like all these dirty parts and you can change the tiling so if you will change the tile the uh, map will place it in the other way and you will get uh, another result so we can try it uh, I'll make a copy I'll connect it just here and change the tiling let me see the map mm, maybe we'll return just for one or maybe we'll make it Actually, it's good. Maybe the map <laughs> for the mask is extremely contrasted for now, so I can make it slightly less, so it will be more softer. So you can do a lot of work with just the curves to make it more intensive, less intensive, softer, and so on, so on, so. So the curves is really, really cool stuff, and if you're still not using them, I highly recommend to do that. Um, okay. Uh, for now, I want to mix those maps with the diffuse uh, color, so it will like cover and they mix together and we got nice and soft floor. Um, how I need to do that? I'll go to material, I'll select diffuse color and I can just pick it from composite map, since it should be darker, well, probably I'll open A. I want to this dark, but I'm not so sure it's the darkest one or not. <laughs> so I can make this uh, composite map bigger uh, and I will do it one more time, just in case. So diffuse, come closer, pipe tool and here. Well, yeah, it's changed slightly more to yellow. Maybe it's good. And now we can mix it with diffuse. So let's go 80, 70. 50, also 50, maybe, it's good. I'm thinking about this reflection, should we make it uh, maybe more intensive? Okay, uh, let's add the bump map, uh, and if so, we always can make the reflective map more um, lighter, or we can just make the reflection color lighter also straight away since it's mixing with the map why not and let's go to the bump so for the bump i found this interesting shader 
which the texture is quite cool and gives you those rounds lines uh, and I believe it worked really good in this case. So as you can see I mix different kind of shaders to get just one material. Don't uh, like be scared to use a different map. It doesn't mean if you have any shader and it have to be like only this shader, only all these maps from this shader to your material. As you can see, I mix one uh, diffuse map from one material, from one shader, uh, another reflection map from another shader, uh, the normal map from third shader and when you mix it all together you will get an extremely cool result so try to experiment with all your material with all your work and you will be surprised what kind of stuff you can reach so here we go we need to connect into the um, corona normal as usual and don't forget to add gamma to input always 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 and into the bump so now I need to see the size and the, hoo, 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 hoo. it's extremely strong. That's first. Uh, the second one, since we have those uh, like rounds uh, going to that side, like outside and the bump is going here, I probably want to rotate. So I'll select this map and I'll rotate it like just for 180. So it will uh, give me uh, those lines in the other side. Yeah. Perfect. The size is actually good. I don't think that we need to change anything here. Only the intensi intensity because intensity is extremely strong. So I'll select the current normal and I'll make it smaller. Uh, now I need to 2 deep on zoom so I will see closer the details over the floor. And it's still extremely strong. Like extremely. <laughs> we don't need that uh, visible scratches. Still 0.1. Still okay, even smaller. So 0 0.5. Well, this one is better. Can be like that. Uh, maybe even uh, this map would be nice for reflection also. So maybe you can mix it in the mix, for example, like both of them, and it will give even more interesting result. But for now, I want to make it even smaller. So try to. Okay, I think this one is like perfect, like slightly visible result and give you just a little bit of the bump. You didn't need like super extremely visible bump and I believe it's super perfect. Okay, let me see from the camera. And I think it should be a little more darker, right? And also the light, mm, the light can be more warmer according to the picture. Well, there is two ways how you can do it. First in the main light is like the easiest way. Uh, second in the mix, you can add the color here. So let go <laughs> for the light. So I want to make it warmer. So I increase the saturation. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, better for sure. Um, and to make the floor darker, I will just add color correction here and just lower the gamma. Why not? Since we customize everything nicely, so all we need is just make it darker. It's easy to make with the um, color correction. And I think it's good. It's really, really good all right with the bump i really like the how the uh, reflection works so i'm happy with this floor i hope you also um let's move on to the walls uh for the walls we can use the same actually maybe almost the same beside um, um 
bump, I think. Okay, let's try. I'll just copy this material. And now I need to select all the walls. We have a few of them uh, separated. So make sure that you selected three of the objects. Otherwise, you will apply material only for a few of them, not for all of them. And I need to assign material. Uh, straight away, I'll show the diffuse map on our walls. And I think we can use the same UV map so I can copy it. So right click copy um, and I will apply for all of the walls. Oh, okay. We need 5,000 <laughs> since we have three coordinates here. Um, now I can copy this one and apply for... Uh, I will paste as... in. Instance or not. No, let's paste the normal one in case if we need to move it, change the size, maybe for this one can happen also. If you don't like the pattern, well. So, three walls applied. Let's see. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yo, yo, yo. Okay, so definitely we need the color for diffuse for sure lighter because we had the dark floor, but the walls is bright. So I'm going to the base material. If you don't remember where is your base material, you always can rename it. So you can always can come back to it. I'll copy it and paste instead because we mix it for 50% as you remember. So paste it here. Better now. Um. And I don't like this map for the wall. I mean, the one that we mix for the mask. So I will probably delete it. Well, at least I will disconnect it from the composite. Oh, and now I don't see anything. And now I don't see anything. Okay, well, let me disconnect this one also. It's extremely dark. Okay, so I will delete this color correction so we can everything customize in just the first color correction. So let's customize some color there. So what do I need? I need to make it lighter for sure. Maybe I want to add some color so it will be more intensive. Maybe even, even more. Um, and probably I want to move color slightly to yellow, so maybe five. I think that's enough for now. I think we will need to make this light less colored. <laughs> maybe not. Um, and what else? We need more intensive texture for the walls for sure. Uh, and I don't see any reflection also. Well, not much. Let me see how the texture of reflection work here. Well, this one we don't need. So I'll delete our bump. Mm, a reflection map. I don't see it at all. Maybe we should make it smaller. Ah, yeah, I can see some thing here looks big okay let's make it smaller then maybe it will work better so tiling 2 let's try let me create a region just in this area so we'll see how this uh, map work three maybe i'll make it even more contrasted four A bit better. Okay, five. Okay, finally I can see something in reflection. Um, maybe I should do a glossiness higher, just a bit. It also can help. Um, and yeah, I'll probably make this map more contrast, so I will see a bigger difference in the reflection in the wall. So output, uh, move, 
Maybe something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, finally I can see it more strongly. I need some white as well. So maybe I'll move some here. Mm, probably it's a little too much. Mm, let me to deep on zoom. <laughs> I want to see this reflection, but... Yeah, actually it's not bad. Okay. And now I want to make diffuse map more intense. Well, uh, we can try mix it less. Oh, actually we need to apply. Oh, it's applied. Okay. I thought we didn't apply for the ceiling, but it's connected with the wall, so it's fine. Um, we can try to make the diffuse 100 and see how it... Oh no, it's super dirty. So back to 50 and we need to find another way. So we need to make the texture more intensive. Okay, let's try with the composite layer one. Um, I will add another layer. Um, yeah, we can apply the color and mix it by some style and I, and it, yeah, it can work. So Corona, Corona color. Um, I can place here. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to place the um, base color that we had since it's like good color for our walls. So why not to use it? And into layer two. Now it like overrided um, all the maps. And let's try different styles. So, well, multiply will be too dark. And not exactly what I wanted. Uh, overlay. No, not visible. We need to, like something like hard light, maybe. Um, linear burn, not too dark. Color dodge. Isn't it the same? Oh, actually, it's brighter. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. Oh yeah, it made our texture more contrasted and I think it's good. Well, slightly not too strong, but we always can vary it with the color if so, so we can make it like uh, darker, maybe more saturation. But even without it, I think it were, was fine. Mm -hmm. Also, the main texture we can make more darker, for example, return to 0 0.6 like it was at the beginning, maybe 7. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, Still not so happy with the reflection. So let's come to deep and zoom. Maybe I can make it even stronger. Or maybe I should use another map. Well, I had the um, rough map here somewhere. Maybe this one we can try to use. But I'm not so sure. Because I do like this soft map. Okay, let's, 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 let's make it like super, super extremely contrasted and dark. And I believe I will see better result here. Nope. Nope. I'll make the reflection color darker because the light is like super strong. Mm, 
Maybe the grossness I will increase to 9. Mm -mm. 85. 87. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one I do like more. And let's figure out with this light. Because it, as you remember, I, I said that I want to decrease intensity and make it less saturated. So I need to suck the bottom light in our lamp. This one. And less intensity first. Second, less saturation. Yes. Well, a little more. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, nice. I think is good. Um, uh, maybe I'll make in general the whole walls like a little darker so I can add one more color correction. And make it a uh, darker. Maybe slightly less saturation. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Um, for now, we can add some material for the black object. We don't have them much, but I think they will give us uh, a better viewing of our interior. So we can do that. I'll copy the base material. And I need to select them all. So all the tables. We have two of them. Or maybe even this cup I will add um, the shelves. Oh, a lot of parts here are separated, so you will need to uh, select them manually, unfortunately. But well, these little shelves, small ones, is black. Uh, and also this one. Oh, these plates we can also make black. Leg one more and one more. All the plates, plates actually. It's not the plates but balls, but I believe you understand me. Understood me. Um this one. And also the coffee machine we also can make super black. Why not? I believe that's all. One more bowl. Okay, good. Now let's apply new material and make it black. So, black. I'm not going to change the situation, actually. I do like when the black color has some sort, some um, color, not just extremely black. Especially when you have, like, those kind of colors. Um, okay, I'll make it slightly darker, I'll make it uh, more metalness, so your two uh, reflection color darker. Uh, glossiness I can increase a bit. I'll just look at the actually on the tables, <laughs> only on them. Um, glossiness higher. Maybe even more of the IOR, Fresnel. Maybe, maybe it's like metallic will be. Okay, even less of the reflection. Well, actually we can add some uh, dirty map, like we did for the floor. Um, yeah, I had here. Well, this one I love to use for metal. Or we can use this one. This will be more intensive since it has more contrast, so why not? And interreflection, exactly like we did for the floor, but it's slightly too big, so maybe not. Well, I can try to make Tallinn too. Oh, it's like extremely repeatable, so maybe I'll make it even smaller then. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, um, and we need to mix it with the reflection color. F 
40, so it will be slightly visible, just a little effect of those map. Of this map. 2D pan zoom. Can be even less. So maybe five. Eight. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay, let's go to the bar and create a new material. So, base. I'll apply to the bar only for the bottom part. For the top part, there is another more brighter material. But this one is made like um, from the kind of rock, I think. Rock, concrete, something like that. So, I was searching for the maps which will fit. And I found this one which is quite good result give us and also this one it's like a soil uh but as you can see you you got like strong displacement area and if you mix them together they will won't be like super strong they will give a different kind of result like when you put all together and it will be nicer um well we can start with one of it um where they are this one and the second one i don't see it well let me move this one right yeah uh-huh okay found it x yeah those two so one we'll start with this displacement and then um the last step will be uh, diffuse map because we need to see how it work with our uh, object so first I will connect the first map to displacement to see how it looks in our object mm -hmm. and it doesn't look at all uh, it's disappeared so we need some UV map well you can do unwrap but I think UV map would be enough maybe like that maybe slightly smaller and we need displacement so we will see the intensity of this map so i'll create region let me make this material editor slightly smaller in case we need to customize something uh, i'll move this map into corona displacement mode as instance oh and we got some previous result of displacements and i uh, somewhere applied uh, I think it can be like a little too strong, but we can try the second map as well that I add. Well, maybe it's not too strong. Maybe it's exactly what we need. Okay, let's try to mix them and we'll see what we got. But so far, uh, even if you apply only one map, it gives you a quite interesting result. If you apply both of them, it will be even better. So I'm going to use mix. Mm, mix amount. One color. Let me move it into displacement. Which one is stronger? Mm, let's apply this one to the second color. Oh, maybe this one. I do like this one more. Um, the size, I'm not so sure about the size. Maybe we should change it somehow and make it stronger and bigger. I want to see this map. Maybe we should try more intensive displacement. 40 minus 40. Oh, 
I don't like how it looks here, so definitely the mine is not supposed to be strong. And we lost the hole inside. I mean, the gap between the floor and the bar, which is very important. Don't forget about it. But the intensity I actually do like. So um, what we can do, we can increase this amount a little bit. So minus 50, for example. Uh -huh. We'll return our gap. Oh, but this area is not too nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 12. You should vary it with those uh, parameters till you get the exactly what you need. So maybe 30 here. Mm. Let's return to 10. I think the 10 minus 10 are like perfect for this one. Um, 40. If so, we always can increase and lift up our geometer a little bit, but still I can see some seams here, which is not very good. So I can make it like smaller, 35, 32, mm, 50, 20, 25, like around 30 it should be. 35. Yeah, I think I will stuck with 35. Mm -hmm. um, I will add now a diffuse map. So we will see and then if it works good with a displacement, then we'll keep it and I'll lift this geometry up a little bit. For the gap. So diffuse map ah uh, yeah the one the rough one that i wanted to use for the walls for reflection but reflection would be like super strong as i can see like now this map like extremely like uh super super straight line which is not good but this one roughness ah uh, yeah actually this one roughness if make it more contrasted maybe it would work for our walls maybe you can try mm, and i need diffuse just for our bar. So this is the map. Diffuse. Um, I will make it bigger. And I don't like the seam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The seam I need to fix in actually in the UV. Well, if I'll move it, nope. I need to change the size so the seam will disappear. Uh, in this case, way more better to make the unwrap. It will give you more accurate result. But if you have no time, like we don't have much time here now, uh, in this you can increase and change the size of the uh, UV. But keep in mind, if you will uh, create a new camera for this look, like for this uh, side of the bar, uh, the size of the texture will be small, smaller. So be careful. For now, it's like not super visible. But in some other case, it can be. But if you have a time, you always can do unwrap and you will get way more nicer result. Maybe I should make it now. <laughs> like super fast unwrap has made because I don't like this side. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. 
I'll just move it so it will fit a little better. And hope, yeah, perfect. Perfect sizing. Found it. <laughs> found it the perfect place for it. As you can see, I mixed uh, and found the connection of the maps. So there is no tell. Yay! No need to unwrap here. Uh, but no, I think the denoiser and displacement is a little too strong. So let me. Oh, let's back for 20 them. Maybe it was fine. Maybe it's too strong. Minus 10. I don't need actually like super strong and visible. But some of it would be nice to see. Mm -hmm. What else we can add? You mm. can see some normals. Uh -huh, it's from these ones. It's a clay. I want like some points. Um, it's like shower it. Oh, this one. Yeah. I believe I haven't added, but I think this one would be nice here. So let me add it for the normal. It's on the quick cell. Let me see. If it works, I will um, show you how you can find it. So normal, corona, corona, normal, normal. And let's connect into bump. Let me show this texture. Yeah, I hope it will work exactly like I want it. I want these points. Oh, yeah this ones um maybe i will make the displacement even smaller let me turn off the diffuse for now so we'll see only how the normal and displacement works this one i will make smaller I want to make it slightly smaller, so maybe 1.2, 1.2 should be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 1.4. No, 2 was better. Um, should I make it even stronger? I can make it stronger and less stronger displacement. Or I can keep it like that. And maybe I want to change even more um, size of the main displacement maps. I think they should be bigger. Quite interesting result. Maybe, maybe, maybe can be. If you like it, you can keep it. Actually, it's quite nice. But I want to try and make some of the map, uh, the one that like super vertical, maybe a little smaller. And I think it would be better. So which one is that? I think this one. Hey, show me. Show me the map. Come on. Ah, yeah. I need to connect to the displacement. Because only one map is connected. Yeah. This one I want to make a little bigger. So maybe... 5. 0 0.5. Yes. More natural. Nice. Now, I think... more intensive and I think that's exactly what I wanted from ah these corners these corners not giving me a life okay 25 come on ah 
Okay, let me... 30 and... Um, 20. 15. Come on. Ugh. Okay, let's return how it was before. Otherwise, I will play around here like for long. 20. Hey. It was good. What happened? What is that actually? Maybe I have some geometry there. Let me see. Ah, okay. I made something with geometry here. We need to quick fix it. So let me see what I have here. Ah, yeah. It's not a problem of displacement, it's a problem of geometry. Probably when I applied the uh, chamfer, it made something like that. So we need to fix it. Let me see. This one. Uh, and. Ooh. Where are you going? Ah, yeah. Well, basically, I can weld them probably. Well, this one I need to this side, this one I need to this side. And now I can place them back. Okay. Same line. Oh, will be a little of modeling for you. Let me delete some edges. It will be way more faster. So I'll select with a loop, control backspace, delete. And which one here? I will just need to move here uh, the vertices and it would be perfect. So where they should be. I don't see it. Oh, why they are so low? We need to lift it up. You can use it snap. So uh, press S and with a snap you can lift up. So they will be on the right place. And here is something is going on. Okay. What is that? Okay. So probably it's on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Now we made them more ordered. And also this one. Okay, let me see. Finally, I believe we fix it. Let me see without greed. Mm. Smooth groups. Uh, we can apply on the top of um, UV map, for example, smooth, um, outer smooth. Yeah. And now this uh, area is fixed. Well, maybe I will lower threshold a little bit because not all of it is. Mm hmm. Yeah, something like that should be good. Finally. Okay, <laughs> let's come back to our pies. So now it should be perfectly fine with the sizes of the displacement since we fi fix the problem with the uh, geometry. So now I can finally add my 30. And minus 20. Perfecto. Okay. Let's come back to diffuse. From the camera. And diffuse I want to make bigger. Um, because uh, mm, the map is repeating as you can see like here the same lines, here the same lines. And I don't like it. So I'll definitely want to get rid of it. So I can set, for example, 0 0.5. Oh yeah, that's the one is actually good. And the uh, color. Let me see. Oh, it should be more pinky, actually. It's too greenish, so color correction here. More to the left. It's like...
not too much. Uh, because I need to feed it to the floor, to the ceiling, to the walls, to everything. Um, maybe I'll mix with the color. So we have a base color, so I can mix it, for example, for 80. Maybe 90. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, reflection, we don't need much, so maybe I'll still make the normal map a little more intensive. I think it would be good. So I'll back to my normal, because I like those dots. Um, 1.5. And what if we make this map not smaller i'll copy this parameter but make it like the same like 0 0.5 0 0.5 well maybe it's not the worst idea actually maybe not five but around eight i would like it even more actually it's nice and i'll return the intensity well not return the but 1.5 is too much, so maybe 1.2 should be good. Yeah, and for now, I actually do really like how it looks like. Okay, perfect. Uh, so the next one I would make. I don't want to show you like the wooden material or the fabric material because it's way more similar from the uh, previous uh, workshop. Um, and I believe I will show you one or two more materials. Uh, I really want to show you material for the lamps because it's also interesting. Um, and I think it would be all. So let's create it. I'll make a copy of the base material uh, and for those lamps I found a really cool clay material I really enjoyed it um, I used to uh, use in one of the workshop uh, for the vase but for the lamp it's the first time so this one is really really cool it's like real clay uh, which have uh, you have made those lamps so I'm going to use this um, probably displacement and normal maybe only normal maybe only displacement um i think i have both of them here let me see clay yeah here a displacement here oh actually i do have even the diffuse map but i don't think that we are really needed so i'll connect to displacement i'll show it in the viewport well, maybe I should have start with a normal because the displacement won't be like super visible in the viewport. And I will need to uh, probably I'll apply for all of them like straight away uh, the same material. Uh, maybe they will have some difference, but I don't think that it will be strong one. So we will do copy later. Um, and I don't see the map in the viewport. Oh, I do. Okay, as I say, the displacement uh, map is not too super visible in the viewport. Well, to make sure you can uh, move the normal map. And connect it. Oh. And show it in the viewport. In this case, you will definitely see yeah the uvs are there so no need to add them and we also can see like straight away how the normal works but definitely we need like the strong work of displacement so it should be like super visible how you work it with your hands okay so i'll select this map um current displacement drag to non-slot I can copy this displacement for all of the object oh eh? no I didn't want to add UVs here I just wanted to copy it 
and paste here not instance but just paste in case if i will want to change it so sometimes better to well you can do instance and then press this button but well um so let's try stronger minus 40 also want to add here Actually, it's not too bad. Maybe I should have make <laughs> instance it displacement. Well, I really like it. Should I make it even stronger? 50 and minus 50. Let me see. No, I think 40 was good. I will just in case try the like super low uh, mean level, just in case, and we'll see which work better. Okay, I would stay probably with a 40. Okay, let me copy one more time just in case that this one will work better than those parameters. So paste. It is. Yeah, the strong is way more nicer. Okay, let's try here also. Stronger amount, the bigger amount. 90. <laughs> Minus 90. I just made the extremely strong, just in case. Mm -mm. No. I think we should stay with the 40s. Oh, 50 actually work for this lamp as well. Okay, let's stay with the 40, uh, with the 50. Why not? And for this one, well, for this one, I want to sh for sure make it stronger. Let's go to 90s. Minus 90. I really want to make, oh, okay. Uh, maybe in this area it would work, <laughs> but for the bottom part, it's definitely slightly too strong. Okay, so eight, maybe 70. And this lamp I want to make lighter. It's like too dark. Mm. Yeah, it's too dark. Let me make a copy of it. I'll assign for this lamp. Make it lighter. Maybe not that strong. Okay. And let's go back to lower parameters. Well, six is actually good. Mm hmm yeah 60 I do really like uh, maybe for the diffuse color we can try for example I'm not sure if it will work here but we can try AO map maybe it will give us more intensive uh, parts of the uh, clay uh, so I'll copy the color add it into corona AO into diffuse Oh, it actually worked. It actually worked really cool. Um, probably I don't need that strong, so I will lower distance. For example, 50. And so you can see the difference, how it was like just with the diffuse, like super plain. And with it, you can see that the holes become more deeper. But yeah, I'll make it not that intensive, so it will be more slider but visible and maybe the color I'll make not the black but I'll copy the unincluded color paste into occluded color and just make it darker so it won't be like super 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 dark and I believe it would be exactly what I was looking for it's good it's really good 
Also, we need to make the ceiling on the back whiter <laughs> because it's like the base color, but basically this ceiling should be uh, whiter. So I can make fast um, copy of the base color. Um, did I select? I need to select it. I hope I select it. Let me see. I'll apply a new material. And let's try to make it lighter and we'll see if it works or not. It is. And definitely I need a little less of the color. So it would be like real white and probably not that bright. Okay, let me have a look from the camera. Actually, for those parts, like inside of the arcs, we also can make whiter. Oh, this one is good. Maybe a little more saturation I would add just a bit. Um, I'll select the wool material. I suppose that I have add the IDs here. So let me check. So second two, one, two. Should be. Should be. Okay. If it won't work, we will fix it. Um, all I need is select the wool material. Well, actually, we don't need it for all the wool. So probably I will do next. I will just add multi sub object material here. I said add. I'll connect um, the main wool material for the number one. And where is our ceiling? Here is it. I'll just make a copy. And connect into number two in multi sub object. I'll set two numbers. I don't need more of them. And this material, I need to select it and assign for this wall. Okay. So now I can show the map in the viewport and we will see if it work or not. Hey, why are you not showing up? Oh no. Ooh. <laughs> it was frozen for a minute, so I was like scared that um, we will crash. Okay, let me see on render because I'm not so sure. Mm, no. It's not working somehow. Um, let me check the numbers one more time. One, one. Should be. Why it's not? Why it's not? And it's starting to glitch a little bit, so... Something is going on. It doesn't like the multi-sub object somehow. Okay, sign. Show the map. Maybe I delete the UVs there, so it's nothing showing up. No, it's there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm by mistake. I pressed the real world map size and it totally disappeared. That's why it didn't work. I don't know how it happened. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So now we can uh, apply multi sub object one more time. And now everything is good. I didn't know how it happened. It just happened. Mysterious. Um, maybe I will make this one slightly lighter. Mm, should I? It can be. Okay. Um, well, for the post, you can even add something here if you want to. So you can add some bloom and glare. Um, so it will be more blooming in your 
a final render you can also play around with your lights if it's still too intense you always can change it because i can see this one like also too super strong so probably i will make it less intense i just need to find it <laughs> uh so yeah here we go and i can make it slightly lower intensity which is good uh this one also probably i will make even bit less intensity nice um what else well exposure i probably wouldn't touch it's quite good uh you can add some like for more dramatic view some vignette for example uh so you can increase it just a bit so it would be like dark on the sides, maybe just a little bit. Uh, for the bloom, like I can see the glare is like, extremely strong. So I will definitely uh, make it lower. So you need to uh, glare intensity lower. So those stars are disappear. Just need to calculate it a little bit to see the result. But maybe even less. Calculate faster. Oh yeah, uh, for the bloom, I'm not sure, should we make it more intensive or less intensive? It's quite good even like this. But we can try intensive more. Uh, let me see on those. Actually, it's not too bad. And I think this one a little overdue displacement because of the side, like super, super rough. Well, I do like this blooming, maybe a little less, like around 2. This one I'll decrease for 40s, or maybe even 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it won't be that strong, maybe 35. And basically that's all that I wanted to show you today, because this bunch of materials are like super cool and intensive and interesting and you can see that we mixed a lot of the maps uh, and normal and displacement and a lot of composite maps with the mask and without with miss mix we mix the diffuse uh displacement maps to get give the better result for the bar so i'm going to start the uh final render now so we'll see the final result of the today's journey uh you can prepare your um questions and um, I will answer them so let me open render setup um, maybe a little smaller I will turn on the noising and let's start and while I'm waiting for your question i'll tell you about our course if you don't know or if you know but you're still wondering what is that uh, we have a beginner's course um, for the people who never worked in 3ds max to people uh, work a little bit and want to know more uh, anyway it's like for almost all the levels maybe for, for high professional in 3d uh, visualization is not uh, will be too informative but for all other people it will be extremely informative course for me uh, it will be like super intense we have like four weeks uh, of the intensive uh, studying uh, we will start from the very beginning that's why I said like it's for all the levels because we have all the stages like super beginner level <laughs> intermediate and high level because we will do all the modeling and most of the object we will um, do all the light uh, and of course not only in interior I will uh, there will be lesson like only for the basics so I'll explain uh, carefully and detail it all the details for the modeling for the lighting for the material it won't be like on the workshop when I'm like click here do that <laughs> and so and so and so and fast uh, very very detailed I will explain all the settings uh, what you should apply what you shouldn't apply um, 
what to uh, you should do for the better results so very very jail it very careful it and as i said it will be intensive so information will be like extremely a lot uh, but everything will be on the recording lesson so if you uh, won't be able to be on the online uh, lesson because all the lessons will be online but also we will get everything in record so uh, we have our platform where you can watch all our videos uh, of the course after each lesson in a few hours you will it will be appear in the cabinet and you can watch it so it will be something like that so basic uh, main levels and also i will do the comments to your homework so you will upload your homework uh, for the current <laughs> uh, job and you will um, have the main reference that we're working with not with this one the one that i show it this and there we're going to create in uh, the next course and then you will go all the stages so you will uh, start from the uh, modeling and then you slowly create everything like houses like here we made like then we start to build something inside the ceiling walls everything and then we apply the uh, plant for the furniture and start to work with the furniture so we build the kitchen of uh, decor as you can see here uh, then we customize the camera according to the reference and then slowly get, go to the next stages work with the lighting uh, color lighting apply the colors um, and then work with all the materials and all the stages i will uh, give you a comment so every single day uh, on the weekdays i uh, will comment your homework so if everything good you can do the next homework if you need to ch uh, change something like uh, improve something then you will do the changes upload again and i will comment your work again so during all the course you will give uh you will take a lot of comments from me uh, to get the final cool result uh, result of the course so as i said we are going to create this extremely super interior i really like it because like here is everything if you want to learn visualization this one is like super perfect because you have everything here like you have a kitchen you have a dinner room you have a living room you have terrace so like including everything you have a plants you have like so many materials like extremely lot like probably all that you can imagine concrete uh fabrics uh carpet like uh stones wood uh marble as i said uh plants mm, curtains tiling uh, so as i say like everything included also we will work uh with the marvelous design and we will uh learn how to create the curtains how to create pillows so every uh, your next project will be unique with not just ready-made models but you will be able to create your own uh fabric object just in marvelous uh if you will like it of course because uh the soft uh, <laughs> uh interesting and if you will enjoy it then i sure you will do everything there uh with all your fabrics to get a super super cool result um also we will work with different kind of frames so you can customize those ones that i have made you can find another ones uh, for this interior because the area for this interior is like huge so i believe you can find a lot of cool shots for this interior uh, and customize a uh, different kind of depth of field, which I'll, of course, I'll explain how to better customize. Of course, I'll, I'll explain how to, uh, what the kind of angle of the camera you should set up for some of the frames for this one kind, for this one kind, for this one kind. And you will try your own and uh, you will have like individual work with the frames. And also this is our team, this is our Daniel super power man um and also the program of the course so we'll start with the very basics we will go through the uh object and furniture we will work with the spline with the editable poly with a different kind of modifiers uh there maybe we will we'll work in uh, 2024 i'm not so sure yet but possible and also there um it gives like another new tools which is kind of cool and i believe it would be interesting to see how that works um lighting 
Of course, we will have the basic um, lesson for the lighting, uh, where I explain all the tools, um, what you can use, how you can use, what you should pay attention on, uh, what kind of lights you have, and so on and so on. So, um, well, cameras and composition will be in the end. Um, but yeah, material post production. Also, we will have the lesson for Photoshop, uh, how to customize the post production of your final render, even if you made all the work in the uh, 3 ds Max, you can like add like final touch in Photoshop, like uh, the cherry on the uh, top of the cake and finish your work. And then you will get a beautiful diploma from us uh, if you will finish your work. And this all the stages be going through in our um, classes. Um, and also you can read the reviews from our students uh, those are all renders made by, by the students so you can read it um, and see what they say about us and if you want to finally learn 3ds max and create a super cool and uh, saleable visualization you can apply now and I will happy to see you in my course and teach you and show you all my tricks, all my stuff that I'm going to use, that I'm using in my current work and to make your visualization is extremely nice, realistic and beautiful. So you can apply now. We have a special prize for the people who join this workshop. Uh, so you can apply, uh, say that you was in this workshop and we give you a special prize. So we'll call you tomorrow and um, let you know about all the details. If you have more questions, if you're not so sure about it, you still can apply. It's not necessarily that you like will join straight away. If you have any doubts, you can um, ask our uh, manager, she will um, reply you and um, answer all your questions so you won't have any doubts should you join or maybe not. And here is our diploma uh, and I hope I will see some of you because uh, this one uh, will be like super super a cool course. I'm really excited to make it because as I said like here is everything. If you want to learn like everything at once that's a perfect course to join because there will be everything at once and you will get a bunch of information which you will uh, use for probably years because it's like very very helpful for the uh, project in uh, visualization for interior for exterior for everything so i hope it was a uh, useful i hope you will apply and i will see you on the course also we have the super cool support uh so we have a chat like private chat uh and you can ask there any question that you have so if you have any issues like with your current work you can like ask like help me i need to uh, improve or i have a problem or i don't understand how to do it you can ask we like reply in a few minutes and we'll solve your problem so you can move forward and continue working on your project also uh, on the online lesson, you can ask anything if you want me to show like anything how you want to do like some of the modeling, how to create this one, how to create that one. You can ask. I will just show you. It's not a problem at all. So I'm waiting for you because it will be like super, super cool. Uh, OK, I'm going to your um, questions now. Oh, and there is not much questions left. Uh, just switched back to Corona after using F-Store for two years and a few new features of the Corona 10 are really something cool. Yeah, um, they improve a lot. So the every next version like add some nice stuff. For example, I think in Corona 9, they add the skies or it was not eight, I think in nine, um, which um, work with the Corona sky. And if you want to show outside light like, skies, it gives a nice result. So I believe um, we can use it as well. Uh, the shadows looks amazing on the mat. Thank you. Color balance, not so sure. Okay, guys, so uh, the next journey will be the new interior. So I hope I will see you there. And I was 
um, happy to show you all this um, workshop. Let me see the final result. I think we got a really good quality here, like 6% of the noise uh, for this time is like is super good. And yeah, I believe we got a really great result here. So if you enjoyed this video, you can like it, you can subscribe to our channel and see you on the um, next journey. Bye bye.